Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. Welcome back to our WPF animation series. In our last post, we learned how to make elements fade in and fade out. Today, we are taking a step further into bringing our UI to life by making elements move across the screen. So this is a fundamental animation technique that can be added uh, to your application and it provides a lot of polish and representativeness to your application. We will be focusing on transform uh, tra animations, which is uh, translate transform and how to animate its properties using a storyboard. Let's understand first what uh, translate transform is. In WPF, a transform is a way to change the appearance of an element without changing its underlying layout. Translate transform is a specific type of transform that allows you to move or translate an element along the X horizontal and Y vertical axis. By animating the X and Y properties of the transform, you can create smooth movements. So more uh, about this translate transform when we uh, do the actual coding. So to do uh, this um, Try out. Let's uh, stop this application and open Visual Studio and start creating our first uh, WPF application with this uh, translate transform animation. So let's start start it. So uh, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more such videos and inspires me to keep uh, these series going. So here uh, I have uh, launched uh, Visual Studio 2022. Uh, so let me go ahead and create a new project. Let's select WPF app with .NET Framework and click Next. Let's give this project a name. Uh, let me rename this as uh, Translate Transform. And let me click on Create. So now uh, we have our main window loaded. Let me split this view and let's start with uh, renaming this uh, window. I will call this window as Translate Transform. And um, animation uh, doesn't matter but it's just how i need it so let me check the height to 300 and the width to 500 points next uh, let's uh, make some changes to our grid let's add a grid dot name and let's call this main grid and that's it. And within our grid, uh, let's create column definitions. So grid dot column definitions. And within our column definitions, let's add two columns width star. And I might have uh, So column definitions with auto and let me hit the tab. This one would be the width of auto and that's it. Control KD to align it. And now that we are done setting the columns. So we have two columns here and now within our grid, let's add our rectangle, which we are going to animate. So let me call this, uh, my rectangle then next we will set the width to 80 points and height to 80 next we'll set the fill and let me set a hex value of ff 4C AF50. You can choose any color, doesn't matter for this example at least. But um, then we'll set the horizontal alignment to left. We'll also set the vertical alignment to center. And let's uh, set the margin of 20, 0, 0, 0. So 20 from the left and then uh, from all the other sides, it's uh, margin is zero. And that's it. Um, let's uh, close our rectangle and within our rectangle, now let's add or apply the translate transform for movement. Uh, so So 
so let me go here and apply translate transform before that sorry the tag should be rectangle dot uh, render transform and the re translate transform is enclosed within the render transform so let me add translate transform now and set a name and let's call it my translate transform and set the x and y position to zero um, okay so that's it uh, let's place control kd okay uh, so our rectangle is now ready and as you can see here on the ui you have a rectangle with this uh, properties that we set on the um, code so next um, let's create our button so this is the button that will trigger this rectangle movement so let's start by adding this button so button so if you see here uh, the visual studio intellisense provides me with a nice uh, quick code which I can use of course so let me just press tab and make use of this button and I'll make some changes to it for starters uh, the name is fine start animation button uh, no problems with that the content is uh, I will say move rectangle uh, the grid column is one horizontal alignment is right And vertical alignment is center and um, and then I don't want these margins and just click start uh, well I need the click start but I don't know if uh, this has also added the code behind for it no it has not so I will go ahead and get rid of this uh, uh, code and now uh, within our button I need a few more things so let me close this button here first and within our button I will add a button background button dot background and within our button background i will add a linear gradient brush this is not um, really necessary for the animation but i'm just uh, covering some of these uh, basics to animate and style our button so there is this linear gradient brush which will provide a linear gradient on our button rather than a solid brush so this requires to add the start point of the gradient which is zero comma zero and um, it also needs an end point which is uh, one comma one and then uh, we need to set we need to close this first this linear gradient tag and within a linear uh, gradient brush we will add the grid uh, gradient straw and uh, here we will decide what color it is and what offset is it. so i'll just press tab for this uh, code that was generated and i will add one more gradient stop and again press tab for the color that it has set so here i will change this color from blue to ff81 c784 and the next color is ff388 e3c and that is a darker shade of green so you can see we have our button which has this nice uh, um, gradient effect and let me change the offset uh, to 0 and 1 much simpler and um, also I would like to set the button width and height so let's say the width of a button is 120 points and the height is 40 and uh, also I'll set a margin because it is very close to the uh, border so a margin of 10 would be fine. So uh, our design is ready. Next, uh, we will define the storyboard. So we have a rectangle ready, we have our button ready, and now we need a storyboard that will animate this whole uh, rectangle. So after a button, we will add a storyboard where that will be within our grid dot resources. And within our grid dot resources, you can define our storyboard so let's say storyboard uh, storyboard 
and um, it provides me with the code snippet i will go ahead and use it and i will call uh, this move rectangle storyboard and then within our uh, storyboard we have the double animation which animates the x property of uh, the uh, translate transform so if you see here double animation and storyboard target name would be my translate transform and that is the uh, translate transform that we have defined within our rectangle so it is going to target this translate transform uh, and then you have the target property which is the x property uh, which it needs to um, um, animate because i don't i want the rectangle to move along the x axis and not the y axis so i am targeting the x property and from 0 to 200 is the um, animation that i want to have let's make it 300 uh, and the duration that i want is for 1.5 0 dot 1.5 second um, okay 1.5 second i think that should be fine and then auto reverse is true and repeat behavior is let's say not forever but uh, let's make it 1x that should be fine and then um, we can also animate uh, this while within the y axis but i don't want to animate it right now so let me go ahead and close the storyboard and all the errors are now gone now all that is left is to provide the click animation or trigger the storyboard and to trigger the storyboard we have our button um, over here that will provide the uh, trigger so let's add a trigger here so to do that before we do that let's again walk through what uh, we have done over here so we have uh, have our grid uh, which is a main grid this is important because we will access the storyboard defined within the resource of this grid which we did over here then we have the rectangle which is the visual element that we want to uh, animate then we have the rectangle dot render transform. This is where we apply the translate transform. It is crucial to use render transform for animation as it's more pro performant than layout transform because it always triggers a full layout recalculation. That is why we go for render transform and not the layout transform. Then uh, we have the translate transform itself. We declare uh, the translate transform and give its name, uh, give it a name my translate transform and its initial value for the X and Y position are zero zero, uh, meaning no offset uh, from the original layout position is set. Next, we have the grid dot resources itself. Uh, this section is where we defined our reusable resource, including our storyboards. Um, then we have our storyboard itself and this is our storyboard, which is um, used to uh, transform our i mean which is used to trigger uh, our um, translate transform we also have the double animation within our storyboard this uh, animation targets uh, the x property like i said of our uh, uh, my translate transform and uh, it specifies how you want to animate uh, the object so that is how uh, it is and then you have the duration uh, the animation will be for um, 1.5 seconds so this is the seconds then the minutes and the hours uh, we also have repeat behavior of 1x, which it means it will repeat only for once. And then um, that is all. Now, all we have to do is uh, trigger this animation by uh, the button click. So to do that, let me go to our button and um, provide the click event and press tab to uh, generate this event handler. And if I go to the code behind now, I should have this uh, click event handler where I am going to uh, trigger our storyboard. So let's start with storyboard. storyboard uh, let me sometimes it doesn't come up i'll just have to use this and call this move storyboard equal to storyboard dot find resource or instead of doing this let me first resolve this issue and I have to go use this system dot window dot media dot animation to have the storyboard um, included. And now uh, let's call since our storyboard is within uh, our grid. I know that because I have placed it over there. Let me call this main main grid dot resources. And within our main grid dot resources, I have my 
move storyboard and let me close this so that is how I will uh, get my move storyboard resource from the main grid and assign it to this object of type storyboard. And then uh, finally, I will trigger the move storyboard dot begin. So let me save this and let's see our animation come to life. So let me start the application and see this in action. And there is some error which we see and that is because the object's uh, reference is not set to an instance of an option. So let's let's understand what has happened here. Uh, so let me put a breakpoint over here. I think it is not able to find a resource. So let's go to the main window. Okay. So uh, the storyboard is not called uh, move storyboard, but it was a uh, move rectangle storyboard. So let me copy this, go to the code behind and rename this. And I think this should uh, solve the issue of object uh, reference not set to an instance of the object. Let's try it again once more. So let me run this. And now uh, let me click on the move rectangle button. And you can see our uh, rectangle moves uh, from one position to the set position, which is 300, and goes back uh, to the original position. Uh, the translate transform animation is incredibly versatile. You can use it for sliding panels in and out of the view. You can create hover effects where elements slightly shift. You can guide user attention by moving UI components, building simple game mechanics. Uh, so you can experiment with the two values, duration and repeat behavior to see how you can change the animation speed, distance and repetitions. You can also add double animation targeting the Y property of my translate transform to make this rectangle move vertically instead of horizontally. So uh, this is all we had for the translate transform uh, animation using storyboards. Stay tuned for our next post where you will find uh, explain how we can scale uh, rotate elements using storyboard. So that's it for today. Hope you all like watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye bye.